While you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Say it. This is the end. Read. And they shall take them captains who captains they were. They're going to take them captains who captains they were. We were captains here. The right. people that had us in captivity. When they say we're going to take them to captivity, what does that mean? We're, they're going to be our slaves. And what way? They're going to work for us like how we work for them. Would it be the same way how we were slaves or would it be different? Yeah, it's going to, they're going to have to work hard. They're going to have to work very hard. Like oh, we had to work. You're going to have our ancestors mistreated as slaves? No, we're going to be righteous. We're going to... Right. So you believe God can't, Christ came and saved everybody? Not the first time. When Christ first came, no. he came strictly for, for uh, the Israelites. So the, uh, the next time he going to cover everybody? No, no, listen. Christ came, his first reason of coming was for the Israelites. But his people, which for us, I say, we we didn't follow him right away. We, we disobeyed him. We didn't do what he everybody wanted us to do. Huh? Everybody disobeyed Everybody. Not every Israelite, but us as a people. That's how God deal with us. He deal with all of us as well. That's true. So if one person fuck up and try, that makes it bad for everybody. And the majority of the Israelites was fucking up. So what he did was he said, okay, y'all still my people. Y'all still the chosen. Y'all still the first. But these people over here is worshiping me better than y'all. So I'm going to go deal with them for a little while. But y'all still keep doing y'all. But right now, I'm going to go show them the same thing. Who was them? Who was the other people you think you would take? Um, the Gentiles. Who was the Gentiles? Anybody. Anybody who's not here. So, according to the Bible, go to that Matthew chapter 7, verse 35. Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. Right. Go to that. Bring so it out. Show you according to the Bible, he only went to the children of Israel. That's true. That's what he went, and that's where he came from. That's, that's who true. he died for. That's true. So I'm yeah. saying, you said he went to he, the other people were the other tribes. Yeah. Not anybody. He didn't. He didn't. He wasn't going to the to Chinese man. That's true. That's or the, or the, when it, when it, when the main reason was God was God to reach his people, which is the Israelites. Right. That, that was the main thing. Right. But we received him. That's why I say in John, he came to his own people, but his people received him not. Right, right. So that's what switched you got everybody. Right. 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 It wasn't everybody. What you got? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That was his order. He came here to come back and reunite the children of Israel. That's what he was doing. He wasn't coming to come to the other nations. Because go to Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8. So I want to I want to give you what his actual mission was. Stay here and listen. I want you to hear something. Was, What's your name? Okay, hold on. Stay here and listen for a minute. Shema, Shema. This is Christ's mission right here, okay? Alright, read. Chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them. Like you said, he had fault with the Israelites because they wasn't listening. Read. He said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. This is two separate houses. He said, I'm, I'm going to make a new covenant with them. Yes. Okay? You got, look, hold on, hold on. Listen, I want you to hear me out. I understand that. Let I, me I hear you. all about this. Let Listen, me hear you out. Look, look, hey, brother, no, no, hold on. Chosen, what's next? I gotta go, man. You chose a one by, like, for example, we already chose a the phone. He already is like by default. But if you deny that you're an Israelite and then you got a person who's not an Israelite who loves God, God gonna choose that person over you. That's not in the Bible. That is the Bible. No, it's not in the Bible. What you see not in the Bible. Let me get, let me finish my point though, so you can ever see it. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord. When I will make a new covenant. A new covenant with who? With the house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. That's not with everybody. That's not with You say, what's your name again? Shema. Shema. Shema, that's not with everybody. He said, he said, hold on. He said, I'm going to make a new covenant with the house of Judah and the house of Israel. Great. Not according 
to the covenant that I made with their fathers. That was the covenant I made with their fathers, Ray. In the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant. So you was right. They didn't continue in the covenant. Great. I, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. You hear that? Are you paying attention? What I said, what did he say? What did he say? Man, you're trying to read something. This is talking about the covenant being made with Israel. And I'm not denying that. Okay, no, but hold on. I ain't saying you that. I'm just going to hear that. Will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Second address, six. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's a good scripture. Give me no. Give me a, I want you to 226 because you're saying anybody, right? Yeah. Read, read this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So he that overcometh and keep these commandments and do my will, read. To him would I give power over the nations. So to, to that person, I'm going to give That's power over the nations. The Bible is written to the 12 tribes of Israel. The Bible is written to the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? So I'm saying, how is it given to everybody? No time in history was it given to everybody. It's true that the Israelites are the chosen, but it's people outside of the Israelites who are also children of God. Where is it? Give me the scripture. What you got? What you got? So, sir, we are showing you according to the Bible, God chose a particular group of people. That's so, come on, get this. Yeah, God chose a particular group of people. You got Romans, you got Romans, 10, verse 10, 9 and 10. You got John. Read Romans 9 and 10. No, no, let him read. What you Romans got? What? Romans what? Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. All right, let's get that. Let's get that. All right, let me go see. He said, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. You said, right? This is a book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. That if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesseth is made unto salvation. So, so hold on. The book of Romans was written to anybody. So I'm going to Romans chapter 9. Going to Romans yes, chapter 9 what? Read that. Because the Bible is not written to everybody. Bring it out. That is the misconception about the whole Bible. Right. right? Yes, it's yes. not written to everybody. Right. The book, the, the commandments were not given to everybody. Uh, right. Okay? Right. The yes. commandments were not given to everybody. The reason why we are in the conditions that we're in now is right. because we broke the commandments. That's, That's right. right. Our commandments is the way they are is because we broke God's laws, yeah. us as a people. Bring it out. The longest, it's smartest, fastest people on this earth are being punished because we broke God's laws. Okay? That's right. right. Everybody else is not getting judged like us because right. they were not given the law. Right. right. That's what's going on. Why right. I have a son, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to punish my son, not everybody's son. Right. You understand? 
That's the reason why we in this situation. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 1. So this is about to prove right now that God is only dealing with us. Bring it out. This scripture right here is unrefutable. Read. Say the truth in Christ. I lie not. He said, I'm telling you the truth right now. I lie not. It's what Paul said. Read. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. Read. That I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. He got great heaviness in his heart. You know why? Because he's seeing the demise of his people. Read. For I could wish that myself were accused from Christ. A curse. A curse he's, from Christ. He said he wished he could take on the curses for all of them. He wished he could have died like Christ did and removed all the curses. But he said, I can't. He had that much love for his people. That's why we out here, because we love our people. Right. He's trying to show you, according to the Bible, who you are. That your, your lineage is, is from the Bible. Read. Well, a curse from Christ for my brethren. He said he wished he could take on the curse from Christ for, from Christ for his brethren. His brethren. Who is your brethren? Hey, hold on, hold on one second. I want y'all to hear this. Hold on. I know you, hey, that's a good point, though. You shouldn't have no tattoos on. You're right. But listen to, but listen to this. Read, read it again. For I could wish that myself were cursed from God for my brethren. Listen, listen to the, what's his name again? Shemaj. Shemaj, listen. He wished he could take on a curse for us, brethren, read. My kinsmen, according to the flesh. His kinsmen, what's that, your kinfolk, read. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? He said, I wish I could take on that, who's my kinsmen. Oh, hold on, listen, I want you to let me finish, read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom pertaineth the adoption? Okay, he adopted okay. us back to the Father. Okay, read. And the, the glory. glory. And the glory, we get the glory. We're the ones gonna get the kingdom. Read. And the covenant. And the covenant. We got the old and the new covenant. Read. And the giving of the law. We was the only ones giving the law. Brother, you saying anybody can be accepted. This is the Old Testament is not. This is the New Testament. I know, but listen, do you know what the new covenant is for? Who is the, who, who is the new covenant? Christ. Exactly. Now, what, is, what was the Christ of the covenant about? I, told, I already read it to you, but you didn't receive it. I was talking. I, I, I was saying. We went, the, the new covenant was going into no more sacrifices. No, that wasn't yes. the only so thing. So he said that's true. That's a part of it. That's a part, well, of, it. That's, that's part of it. And also, that the 12 tribes are going to be re, re back united. That's right. Right. Listen, you're missing, you're missing the part out. The, the covenant was, Christ's covenant was also for outsiders outside of the Israelites. Because it's not about religion. It's not about no, tribes. It's not, it's not about none of that. We will be one body in that's, it's one brother, body. listen. As long as you believe, that's why it's pretty scripture that's saying whoever confess their sins. But let, if I'm writing, let, let me ask you a question. If you think about it like it's being written to everybody. The, <laughs> the Bible, just think about it like this. You, you live in the house? You got brothers and sisters or somebody? So you in the house, right? Revelation you write a letter to them in your house. Revelation you understand team. what I'm saying? You write documents down team. in your house and say, whoever touched this, team. Young Revelation. I'm gonna beat y'all. Whoever take my stuff out of my room, I'm get in trouble. If somebody else found that letter in the next block over, was that written to them? It's not the same thing. It is the same thing because that's what we came for. This, this is what we came for. You know, no, no, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying Christ only said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's it. Listen, give me what's that? Uh, tell, me if I'm wrong. tell me if I'm wrong. The picture to see. Next. Uh, who is saying that the Father 531. 531. Who is saying that the Father sent the Son in the world to save the world? You said what? Don't it say the Father sent the Son in the world to save the world? Now, that's the world in which you mean is not the same world. Right. That means, so you think the world, let me get this right. Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Hey, but listen, I don't want to. I read scripture, I go for exactly what it's saying. I don't say what I think it's saying. I say no, I'm not saying, saying this. Saying. No, because you can't read. Give me, let me show you how you're supposed to read the Bible. Because you're in a, you are in, are you well versed in the Old Testament? You know a little bit of, 
what I'm saying? Like, you gotta know what the Old Testament is talking about in order to know what the New Testament is talking about. Right. It's not something you could just jump right to. I understand what you're saying. So give me Isaiah chapter 28. The Israelites, when the, Israelites, when the old Israelites Verse broke nine. their covenant, that's what made the new covenant come about. Let me, let me, you see what I'm saying? Let me say this. That's why it's not just about us. Hey, brother, bro. I don't want to go, I want you to be able to receive what I'm saying. If you can't receive it, I understand. But I don't understand what you're saying already. I had this debate with Israelites online all the time. Oh, so that's what you this is so that's what you're debating about right now. Bro, I'm telling I'm you according saying, to the Bible, you for you to say that everybody beside the Israelite is not going to heaven, that's a sin. No, where is that at? Where is the Bible? That is a sin. You condemning the whole world. Isaiah 14. Oh, yeah. Give me Isaiah 14. So I, I want to hear how you're going to refute this. You know Isaiah 14 and 1? You heard it before? Give me that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. He said how he's going to have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. This is talking about in the end. Read. And set them in their own land. He's going to set us in our own land. Not everybody. Hold on. Listen to this. Listen to this. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. What's the, who the strangers are? The rest of the people that you're talking about. What? They're going to be joined with right now. He's going to show you how they're going to be joined with them. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Some other people going to cleave to the house of Jacob. Read. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right. And the house of Israel. The house of who? The house of Israel. Who? The house of Israel. Read. Shall possess them. Well, no, shall possess them. Shall possess them. Now, what, what it means to possess somebody? Say own. own it. Like they owned us. Yeah. It said the house of Israel shall possess and them. I can believe that. I can believe Hold on. that. Read. In the, in the, it possessed them in the land shall, in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. For servants and handmaids. That's true. That's, that's what the other nation going to You don't have no other. That's what it's saying. This is the end. Read. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. He says, going to take them captives who captives they were. What does that mean? We were captives here. Right. The people that had us in captivity. When they say we're going to take them to captivity, what does that mean? We're, they're going to be our slaves. And what way? They're going to work for us like how we work for them. I'm talking about, would it be the same way how we were slaves or would it be different? It's going to, they're going to have to work hard. They're going to have to work very hard. Like we had to work. Is, you know how, no, we're going to be righteous. We're, going to be, we're not about to be raping the women. We're not about to be doing all that type of stuff. But we do have a law, and they're going to have to work hard. We're going to have to work extremely hard, like how we had to work. That's right. God said he's going to pay. He's going to give them vengeance. He's going to get his vengeance. We need not to get our own vengeance. So that's what he's saying. He said he's going to take them captives who captured their work. So everybody is not. The, the other nation is going to be in the kingdom. Guess what? They're going to be build up our kingdom just like we built up this kingdom. We built up America. Right. See that. We built up the White House. Bring it up. We built up all empires because we broke our law. But it's always a hierarchy. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Nation time. Oh, you know what?